Shaggy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you are new here, hi, I am Sapna, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to transform this shirt into a cute dog. This is my brother's shirt and he never wore it. He got it for Christmas and was just lying around, had no purpose. So let's get started. So starting with ideas and planning, so I got my inspiration from this this and this and when combine them together we got this so we are gonna make that so for that I'm taking this shirt and I'm going to seam rip the pocket and yes I do have a seam ripper now now I'm going to cut 12 inches from the bottom of the shirt to make the body of the top I'm going to sew the side so that it can fit me well. And now I'm going to cut out to the front of the shirt to make the bust of the top. And now I'm placing these two pieces on top of each other and I have this burst pattern and now I'm going to trace it out on those pieces and then cut them out. So after cutting out these patterns, I'm going to sew them together while right sides facing each other. And it should look something like this. And after that, I'm going to take the body piece and the burst piece and I'm going to trace out a U shape using the burst piece and then cutting it out. So after cutting out the U shape, I'm marking where I'm supposed to sew a dart so that it could look like corset. So after sewing the dart, I'm going to connect the burst piece making sure both the seam matches to each other. So after pinning the burst piece down with the bodice piece, I'm going to sew them together with a straight stitch. So here I am sewing the top part of the shirt where the buttons are sewn. And here I am cutting out more pieces from the shirt to make the bias tape. And for that I am cutting out thin strips of fabric and then connecting them all together to make a long bias tape. For the top so after making the bias tape we will move forward and make a ruffle for the top and for that I'm cutting out piece of fabric from the back of the shirt So here I am cutting out a thin strip of fabric to make the ruffle. So I am taking one of the strip and hemming the bottom by double folding it and then sewing a loose stitch on the other side and then pulling one of the thread to create gathering. And here the ruffle is ready and now I'm going to connect it to the first piece. Mm -hmm. 
so after pinning the ruffles down I'm going to finish it off by sewing it And now I'm again going to cut out the strip of fabric from the back of the shirt to create this bow for the front of the top. So to make the bow tie for the front of the top, I'm going to take one of the strip of this fabric and then sewing diagonally on one end of this strip of fabric and sew straight down the fabric and with the help of a pencil I'm flipping it inside out and with that our bow tie is ready and now I'm going to sew it down on the top Now moving towards making the shoulder of the top, here I am cutting 16 cm strip of this fabric to make the shoulder of the top. So I have folded this strip of fabric in half and then sewed it down and then flipped it inside out. So now I'm taking this bias tape and sewing it all over the top to avoid any further fraying and while sewing this bias tape down I'm also going to attach the shoulder straps and here I forgot to add one more strap so I will attach that later. And now I'm double folding the bias tape and then sewing it down. So moving towards the sleeve of the top, so I've taken the sleeve of the shirt and then I have cut it according to my desired length. And so I have marked 4.5 centimeters from the inner side of the sleeve to create the poof. So now I'm sewing a loose stitch on top of the sleeve to create the gathering. And then repeating the same on the bottom of the sleeve as well. And now I'm going to cut out the sleeve from the marking at an angle to create poofed sleeve. So here I've taken the cuff of the shirt sleeve and I'm going to open it up and create a new cuff for the new sleeve. So I have stitched them together to create a loop like structure and now before attaching this loop to the sleeve I'm going to attach the sleeve to the top. the sleeves are all pinned up and now I'm going to sew it on its place
so after sewing the sleeves on to the top I'm going to sew the curve to the sleeves and for that I'm sandwiching the sleeve between this curve and then sewed it down on its place after sewing the cuffs down the sleeves was just not looking good so i took two elastic and sewed it inside the sleeve and it was much better and here is the final transformation mm -hmm.